Hello everyone, thanks for checking out my video. So I'd like to talk to you today about keeping track of your crypto. If you're like me and you've been mining for a while, chances are you've got a bunch of different coins in a bunch of different places. I have a lot of desktop wallets, some online wallets. I've got coins on mining pool hub. I've got coins on different exchanges. They're all over the place. How do you keep track of all that? Well, I did some research online and I came across cointracking.info, which is a site that does just that, keeps track of your coins. You can manually input any of your trades or transactions, or you can automatically import them from any of the major exchanges out there using their API. So it's very easy to work with. And one of the best parts is it provides you really nice charts and graphs that show you at a glance how much crypto you have, what it's worth, whether it's been profitable or not. And if you're like me and you live in the United States, they have a really nice tax reporting feature so that if it comes time to file taxes, you can print out your capital gains and losses based on first in, first out, or whatever you need to configure. So it's very comprehensive in that regard. Anyway, I thought I would share it with you, just kind of give you a little tour of how the site looks and works. And if it's something that you want to sign up for, that's great. I got a link down in the description. And if you decide to purchase the program, uh, you'll save 10% by using that link. Plus, it'll help the channel out a little bit too. Let's take a closer look then at cointracking.info. Here's our dashboard. This is just a dummy account that I created for this video so that we had something to work with, but uh, it gives you a really good idea of how things look. Uh, at the top, we've got the total value of all coins in US dollars and Bitcoin. We've got the date of our first trade right here. We've got the value of each currency in US dollars. I like this pie chart because it gives you a glimpse of how many coins you have. And if you hover over top of any of them, so if we look at this Bitcoin private here, we can see the value in US dollars as well as the percent of total. So we can see that 55.51% of our entire portfolio is Bitcoin private. Uh, and that may be helpful because you might make decisions based on uh, whether or not you want to diversify. You might say, well, that's a little too much Bitcoin private. Let's sell some and buy something else. You know, so you've got options there. Uh, you got a similar chart here for trades per exchange. So if you want to see, you know, am I doing more activity on Binance or Cryptopia or Yobit? You know, you can kind of gauge that based on the number of trades that you input. Uh, we also have some pricing information here for Bitcoin as well as a 30 day price chart. And then one of the other charts that I really like is the current balance here because this is telling you exactly the amount of coin that you have and its price in US dollars here. Uh, and this is just the going rate. It also is showing you the 24 hour trend. So is the coin up or down, which is pretty cool. Uh, we've got a neat little timeline here. I've never really used this. It's more of a novelty thing, you know, like, look, don't forget this date. It's the day you bought your first coin. Congratulations. You know, and it's kind of like goofy, but uh, I guess it's one of those things that makes it fun too. Now, how do you enter a coin into this? It's actually pretty simple. You just go here where it says enter coins and click on overview and manual import. And then you've got this nice little spreadsheet. So what you do basically, let's say we were going to buy I don't know, let's say we're gonna buy some more Bitcoin with US dollars from Coinbase. So we would just click on new. Um, we would go here where it says trade exchange and set that to, um, let's see. I'm gonna set it to trade exchange and we're gonna go ahead and put on buy amount. Uh, let's go ahead and make that 0.009. Uh, currency will be Bitcoin. And so you get a whole list here. So you can select Bitcoin. And then we're gonna sell dollars, which are gonna be uh, uh, $100. And the currency is US dollars, so we can set that to USD. There's always a trading fee, which is somewhere around $4 for that. And the exchange is Coinbase. And trade group we could do, you can see they got an example here is mining. Um, so that would be one way to sort of itemize things. So if you have mining coming in or whatever, I'm just going to call this one exchange because uh, we're, we're actually purchasing Bitcoin. 
and then you can put a little comment here too you know we can say you know bought some BTC and then click on add transaction and now here's our new transaction here it says we're selling a hundred dollars in USD and we're buying 0 0.009 BTC and here's our fee four dollars so very interesting so let's let's take a look then back at the chart and see how that's changed things uh, you'll notice down here in the bottom right we've got to recalculate because uh, things are a little different now so we'll click on that button and it'll recalculate everything more accurately so there we go so it looks now like our Bitcoin has uh, outdone almost our Bitcoin private uh, it certainly has surpassed it in value so it's now 153.44 uh, which is almost 50% of our portfolio, uh, whereas now this Bitcoin private is only 40% of the portfolio. So that's another way you can adjust things. Rather than sell this, if you want to hodl your Bitcoin private, then you know you buy more of another coin using cash or whatever. So a lot of different ways that you can go about this. And of course, if you're mining, then mining is going to continually be happening and your portfolio will just grow based on what you're mining. Uh, a couple other things with the uh, entering coin, uh, now that's the manual input method, uh, which you can do for every exchange or every trade or every little bit of income. Uh, for instance, if I want to do mining income for transaction type, I can shift this over here to mining. Uh, and then I can put on an amount. So let's say we brought in um, another 50 electronium ETN. So we can set that right there. Uh, there are no fees associated with that. And let's say that's coming from electronium and then I can now name this mining for my trade group and click on add transaction and notice here like you have the option to sort these so if I wanted to just see what my mining was I can actually um, type in now mining in the search bar and everything that's mining is right here so this makes it a lot easier to keep track of your transactions um, you can also sort by group here so if you want to see it, if you don't, if you're not worried about the dates, then you can just kind of group it this way. Um, I am crazy about dates. I like things to be, you know, whatever's the most recent one up at the top here. But there you have it. Um, manual input is very simple. It's painless. Um, the other thing here is that if you want to do um, manual CSV input, you can. You can actually from any one of these exchanges go ahead and download the CSV file from the exchange and import it into your portfolio. So let's say we were using, um, I don't know, Bittrex. Um, it gives you step-by-step, -step, how do you do it? So you, you log into your Bittrex account, you open orders and you go here to the history folder and you can load all of your transactions and then save the file. And then you click choose file and import that file and then it'll go through all the trades individually and import them right in which is actually really cool quick and painless so uh, i've done this a bunch so uh, i've found it to be pretty straightforward if you want it to be even better you can use the api version which is right here automatic api exchange import so let's say we're going to use Binance and we want to automatically import the API. Well, what you do is you log into your Binance account, you go to your My Account page, and then you click on the API key and put the API key here. Um, and then what that does is it links over to your Binance account and automatically updates all of your trades. So you don't even have to touch it. It's pretty fantastic. The only downside is, is you have to buy the program in order to get the API to work. But if you're a day trader, if you're somebody who does this regularly, and especially if you live in the United States where keeping track of your trades is so important and crucial for filing your taxes, capital gains and losses is a real thing that we have to be very concerned with right now. Well, this is a real simple and easy way to combat that and it's actually pretty affordable so if I go on upgrade account you can see we've got unlimited pro and free plans the free plan gives you 200 transactions that you can put in manually 
The pro version gives you 3,500 transactions. So, I mean, it depends on how many trades you're doing. If you're using a bot, you may get very close to this 3,500 within a year. Uh, but if you're doing it by yourself on a daily basis, you know, this may actually be a pretty decent package to go with. You can enter as many coins as you want. Um, lots of different transactions here. Your tax reporting is up to 3,500 transactions. So you would be able to cover the entire amount of available transactions with your tax reporting, uh, which is pretty much key for this thing. Um, the only thing that they're not including here are daily backups, access to future updates, uh, whatever this is, faster caching. I mean, uh, I haven't found the speed to be an issue, honestly, I, even with the free version here. It's been just fine for me. So here are the costs. One year is 0.012 BTC. So if uh, Bitcoin is going for 9,500, let's say it's uh, 9,590. So times 0.012 is 115 bucks. So, I mean, is it worth it to you? You know, 115 bucks to have very quick, simple, easy tracking of all of your transactions and then tax reporting made simple. Let me show you that, by the way. If I click on tax report here, uh, and let me go ahead and click on recalculate here before some of the people with OCD get freaked out. Um, here's the thing. Uh, you just click on open settings and create a new tax report set the year all right so here here's a report for just the last three months and you got lots of different things we can do first in first out which is usually the way that things are done uh, but you may find that last in first out makes more sense i mean it really kind of depends on the pricing uh, you have to figure that out for yourself uh, plus you got highest price first out lowest price first out so a lot of different ways you can kind of configure this um, but we would go with the best prices or the transaction prices. I'm thinking, uh, I mean, it's tough to know for sure, but you could print out two or three different reports and figure out which one makes the most sense for you. Um, so it just, it's so simple. Calculate taxes and gains, uh, which is really helpful here. Uh, tax short term. So you got lots of different uh, options. And if we go ahead and click on generate, uh, it'll show us what our tax report looks like. So right now it looks as though uh, this is it. Uh, we've got one loss of $6.85. So let's go ahead and click on load report. So here it is. We've got one trade, which is Litecoin. And we lost $6.85. So there you go. There would be uh, a loss statement that you could add to your taxes. This is another helpful chart right here, the income report. Notice that this is all mining and mining is taxable income. So here's our taxable income of $59.99, uh, which is all on account of mining. So that's another report that you could file very simply just using this program. So basically I've killed two birds with one stone and done very little work. One last feature I want to show you is their smartphone app. So you can actually link your account to the app and keep track of your coins no matter where you go. So it's really versatile in that regard. I found the site to be very helpful. The stats are good. Inputting things is pretty easy and straightforward. And best of all, reporting for taxes is pretty much a breeze. So. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to sign up for the program, please use my link down below. If you decide to upgrade to the pro version, um, you'll get 10% for using that link, uh, which is a nice little discount. So right around 100 bucks, and you can have up to 3,500 transactions with all that great reporting and automatic importing of all of the APIs from the different exchanges. So I think it's as straightforward and easy to use as you can get in the complicated world of cryptocurrency. So be sure to hit subscribe and ding the bell so you get future updates. And if you want to continue the conversation, come join us on our Discord server. The link is down below. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. God bless.